Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we mail it in for National Corn on the Cob Day. My name is McNew. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Kathy Cool and Ryan Thompson. Hey, gang, what's up? Hey, Hello. guys. Hey, oh, so yeah, we're all celebrating traditional National Corn on the Cob Day, as uh, I'm sure many in the audience are you. as well. <laughs> Uh, we all do that, uh, you know, and we got together. We're like, we're, we're doing a show about this, right? on Corn on the Cob Day. Okay, okay. We'll, uh, we'll have some facts about that after the break. For right now, though, Kathy uh, said there's something she wanted to talk about. Besides that, what is that, Kathy? So I would like, okay. <sighs> <laughs> yes? I'm going to do an impression. Okay. Is it's it Kyle not. Neely? Is it Kyle Neely? It's Kyle Neely impression. Okay. What's the deal with 8.30 a.m. graduations <laughs> for high school kids? Did I do Gal's, okay? Kyle's gotten a little bit slower. Hey, he's uh, he's slowing down in his old age. Uh, I appreciate it, though. I appreciate it. He's getting good. a little more Bob Dylan-esque, and he's slowing so, down. I noticed. So it's, it's, it's Bob Dylan-esque. Bob Dylan himself. So now uh, I'm, I'm, oh, wait. I'm going to do it as Bob Dylan. Okay. What's new? That's Bob that Dylan. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> right there. That was Bob Dylan. Okay. So Clearly got, Bob yeah, Dylan. Yeah, Seriously, yeah. I have to go to a graduation tomorrow morning for high school kids at 8 30 in the morning. In the That's morning. Some bullshit. Now, Our Steve, thing. your yes. daughter got her master's degree. Yes. And it was quite early. Yeah, but not that early. Not that early. We had to be there at I think it was eleven o'clock, and then. Uh, but it was nice because college kind of has it down. Uh, you know, all the schools graduate. Uh, you know, kind of independently, and that was like a forty-five minute ceremony, which is not bad. And they yeah. left that the fuck out. That's great. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. yeah, it was. It was. It was like nice. I got shit to do tomorrow. What time am I going to be done? Uh, There's pros and cons about this, KK. There's pros and cons. I okay. got one main question, though, that I need to clarify before we move on. Okay. Are you bringing a flask with you? You That's know cute. what? I think I'm going to have to either bring a flask or a Gatorade because it's bright and early after I've done a lot of shows, and I either need to rehydrate or... Hair of the dog. Keep okay. it going, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. You get one that's covered in pearls and sparkles. You look classy. It's fine. Get, you get look your classy. Next. Oh, I'll take the bottle. This is, <laughs> I don't care. Right. I'm walking in with a glass <laughs> bottle. Yeah. Where, is it, where, it's not at the high school, is it? <laughs> no, it's at, a, it's at a small arena so, in the county. If you get caught with a flask at the arena, it's like no big deal. If you get caught with a flask at the high school, that's frowned that's, upon, right? Yeah. So, so you're so in the clear bringing a flask in, so keep that on. You could get a little shooter of vodka or a couple, have a couple swigs of Gatorade, then put the vodka in the Gatorade. That's not a bad move either. So right. I used to go to the ball games uh, as a season ticket holder, and I would empty out a Mountain Dew bottle and put a bottle of wine in it. Yeah. So I'm very familiar with um, you know, getting the booze in. Okay. Here's, I just don't understand, like, do 
do high school graduates are they up at this time oh are they paying attention at this time like they're gonna be speeches no no i don't understand having them that early because every high school graduation i've been in has been in the afternoon it's 2 p.m it's 1 p.m it's 3 p.m it's 4 maybe 6 but here's the thing you got to know what what's their last name where is that letter falling if it's early you get in early if it's like a Z or some bullshit, you get in late. If it's normal, like an M or an N or a K, you got to show up like maybe a half hour late. So you here's know my next question. Up. I have an early in the alphabet name. I am taking my 87-year-old mother. Here's, okay, Can so I get her so, out after? No, no, because she's going to want to stay the whole thing. She's going to want to stay for the whole thing. So you get her in. You sit through the bullshit of when they graduate. You say you have to go to the bathroom. You disappear for a half hour. Then you come back and get mom and you leave. Yeah. This is good. Know. I'm making notes. Yeah. Yeah. News done this once or twice. I can and tell. if mom says, I, well, what I, took you so long? You just say, I was pooping. And I was like, pooping. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. No, but if, if they're late in the office. She'd be like, oh, okay. Mom, I had to poop. <laughs> Either way, you're pooping or you're doing whatever. But you're really doing <laughs> oh, okay, right, 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 right. Not to get off the topic of pooping, sure. but you know these high school kids damn well they they don't want to be at the place at eight they lining don't, up. They don't. But they you was, know they they're at parties tonight. Seven. They didn't want to be at the graduation. To be honest with you, my right. parents made me go. Yeah, yeah. totally, so, absolutely. But but all the high school kids they're at parties. They're par- but they'll recover quicker than us oh, adults for sure. Yeah. So I feel like this is a new thing because mine happened at like six o'clock at night. We had a lock in so that no one would go out and party and get drunk. A lock in. Which we did. Mm. And we showed up at the lock in drunk. Wow. So I don't understand 8 30 in the morning. No. So there's no so I don't understand special because I went to a very small school. I had 67 kids in my high school class and we graduated in our gym. We had it in our gym, the high school. We had it on our football field. We had it, I think, in our gym, I guess. I I had 67 people in A class in high school. Wow. What is A class in high school? It sounds like it was first. One class of the day, there were like 60 people in the fucking thing. We had like 750, 800 people in our school. Or A class. A class. We didn't even have A class, not A class. A class. It's A class, not A class. Where did you grow up, Brian? Houston. Houston's a big place. They have a lot of kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Houston. He grew up in Houston. I'll look at him now. But, yeah, this whole deal about... It's because they all want to get do graduation at these fancy locations, so they got to jam pack as many graduations right. in one day as possible, right? Now, like it's yeah. Well, I guess the, good the arena part about being yeah. at eight thirty is I I think I'll be done by noon, and I get my whole you day. You won't to do whatever I want. Well, so they, with however, if you have to run a goddamn arena, they're probably going to be out at one. And it takes like a fucking half hour to get You're to doing the- four graduations in this one arena yeah, in, no, in so a day. So they need us out. Parking lot. Drive her wherever she's going. Is there an open house afterwards? It's your whole day. Your whole day is gone. When is the open house? The open house is part, part actually. But hey, Kay, you know what I say? Take better a flask. You, better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better you than me. I don't have I any think my flask is here. going to be filled. this. Yep. Whoa. I'm taking a Good full thing. bottle of bourbon to wow. graduation at to the party. In the morning. Oh, you're taking that in there? What are you going to uh, prison wallet that in? How are you getting that in there? Yeah. I'm not prison walling that you in. Bags for graduation. <laughs> I'm going to carry it in in my purse. There's no metal detectors. I don't know. It's the, arena. it's the arena. They do concerts there and stuff. There could be. Potentially, yeah. there could be. I you have need plastic to scout it out. glass. I can get at least eight ounces in in a plastic flask. Okay. Or two. I think that's so. enough. I think I think eight ounces is good for a, a graduation ceremony. Yeah. Nobody I wants so. to. Yes. Well, so there you go. So was this all about me? 
Yeah, no. it was just all about you. We we helped you. We, no. we it was almost therapeutic for you. We we helped you out. So yeah. On that note, guess what? It is time to drink. What is everyone drinking? We're gonna start with Steve Akeley. I'm gonna go first. <laughs> I've got uh, Jefferson's Ocean here, aged at sea. And look how big my hands are. Look at that. That bottle looks tiny. No, it's a three seven five. It's a three seven five. I don't. I never even saw one of those before. It's it's a unique thing. It's a it's an oddity, if you will. Here we go. Quiet. Swipe on the set. That was good. Ooh, that was good. I was good. That was good. I've got the lead. Uh, what do you got, KK? I'm going to drink some corn whiskey. It's uh, it's Wood Hat's Bloody Butcher Red. Okay. It's been open before. Okay. Okay. Mm. Who's got the lead there, Ryan? I think Akeley's got it still. I think so, too, but yeah. I wanted to throw it to a judge, so we had to be yeah, fair. I think, I think we had it's to be you. fair. All right. Yeah. Kathy's mad, but uh, it is what it is. You have to live with it. I've always said when we throw it to a judge, I'm, we have I'm to living with it. it. <laughs> <laughs> not well. Oh, not very happy. Not, not, not well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess <laughs> the rule is you have to live with it. You don't have to be happy. You just have to, <laughs> you just have to live with it. All right. And I think we're seeing that play out. Ryan, you're next. What do you got? Since I'm sitting here at the distillery and I didn't, I got it. I brought four bottles with me tonight, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna double up here on the old two year Tenth Mountain Bourbon. Okay, okay. Still no, nothing. nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. I heard something on my side, but I understand. I understand. Okay, <laughs> I you're understand. gonna have to live with it. You're gonna have to live with the judge's call there, as much as you hate it. All right, McNew, your last but not least, what do you got? We have some bourbon from Middle West Spirits out of Columbus, Ohio. Okay. No, nothing there. Nothing oh, it's there. A little baby pop. Did they send that to you? Did they send that to yeah, you? Yeah, it actually got distributed here. We bought it. Last week. Okay. Okay. They didn't send me shit. I, they sent <laughs> they sent something to another ABV Network host. Not and, me. <laughs> and then I thought they sent some to you, and I thought, well, it's, isn't that interesting? We're sending all the ABV Network hosts, but me. But no, apparently. we. I bought that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you're gonna okay. send something to an ABV Network host, yeah, they picked well. Uh, they picked well. There you go. There you not go. pick me. They so. did not pick McNeil. They picked. Uh, <laughs> they they apparently liked a redhead. Cheers, gang. Cheers. Of course they did. All right. Who won? Akeley uh, did. Clearly, I did. I won. Yes. You should All congratulate right. me. Kevin. Clearly. Yeah. All right. What we'll do next? We'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're continuing with National Corn on the Cob Day. We're all excited about this. Hopefully, you are too. We'll do that in just a few. <laughs> Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We will also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop. It's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Staven Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows 
and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. All right, I'm Neil. And I'm Melanie. Together we're the Robinsons, and you're listening to the Bourbon Daily. Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. It's a damn national holiday for Corn on the Cob Day. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I've got uh, I've got a question I want to ask you guys, but I want to get to Kathy first because she's got some some facts or stats or something about I, no, national I corn don't. Cob. I just yeah, have you a said story. You, did. you said oh. you did. I know, and you miss you mistook my information as facts, and I just have a story. Okay. Well, so I'll growing up, word. Yeah. growing up, you know, I had dinner at the kitchen table. Right. Now we have dinner in front of televisions sure. or whatever. But in my family, we had dinner at the kitchen table. And so I don't know how this happens, but you pick a seat at your table. And then for the rest of your life, this is where you sit when you live in this house. And my dad and I sat across from each other and my sister, my younger sister sat in the middle of us. Okay. And when we ever had corn on the cob, we would just like, like make the noisiest corn on the cob noise. Right. Like how you see, for some reason there's cat videos of them eating corn on the cob and that's how they eat it though. Why do cats eat corn on the cob? I don't, they're putting something. It was like, it was like dinosaurs eating corn okay. on the cob. Sure. And she'd be like, you guys are so gross. You're so gross. So we would just love corn on the cob. I think corn on the cob is a fantastic tradition. And if you can it's gross out day. your siblings. It's a special day for you. Yes. It brings back memories. It brings back memories. Yeah. When you grossed out your sister. So yeah. bye. By your your disgusting eating habits. So Absolutely, it's good. it's good. It's a wonderful childhood memory. That's all I had to offer. <laughs> Thank you for sharing it with us. Okay, I never nothing heard about of the holidays. Corn, I never heard of eating corn on the cob was tradition, but okay. Right, right, yeah. Well, yes, um, I am. How, how do you guys like to eat corn on the cob? Do you? Well, my favorite part about the whole corn row, on the cob? or do you do you do the spin where you're you're just I like. like I like a row. Are, are row. You, like a typewriter, like and then yeah, it, that, yeah, yeah. me too. Me too. You go, you go, so, you work Here's horizontal. my next question. Do you need the inserts? Yes. Oh, yeah. You, you got to have those. That's the, the best part. part. Oh, no. You got to like have those. Messy. I don't I don't need them. They're fine. No, you need that. You got to have that. I love you those. That's my favorite towels. utensil in the kitchen. You don't need them. No, no, the, no you need the little utensils. Yeah. Yes. Those things are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Like if they're there, I will use them. They're not always okay. there. Okay, well, we're not them. McNew's out of this. We're she, she's kicked <laughs> off the show, probably off the network. Uh, <laughs> when you were growing up, uh, were, was your household? Did you have the plastic ones or the metal ones when it came to those little uh, corn on the cob? Uh, I didn't know there were metal ones. Of course yeah, I just had the plastic prone. ones. They look like corn uh, corn cobs, yeah. and they were yeah. I, yeah. I grew up in a yeah. I grew up in South County, so we just had the uh, we we had the plastic ones. They there. make those in metal. Oh, of course, yes. Oh, yeah. I've never yeah. seen them. Oh, yeah. 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 Where? That yeah. sounds You're in Vail now. If they would ever serve corn on the cob in Vail, I'm guaranteeing <laughs> you know, those metal, huh? metal things. Yeah. So if you yeah. went to a steakhouse and you ordered corn on the cob, what kind of corn on the cob utensils are you getting? They don't serve that at steakhouses. <laughs> I'm opening oh, a steakhouse, Ponderosa. and I would like your <laughs> suggestions on what kind of utensils to offer. Hey, KK, Golden Corral doesn't count as a steakhouse. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just saying. No. No. I think most commercial places, if they're serving corn on the cob, give you the half uh, cob, and then they don't give you the little things to put in there because they figure that's small enough you could have it one in. I don't know why, if it's a full size, you have to have the things. If it's a half size, they never give you the things for your hands. I don't know. Why. What about the people that take I'm their four, put it vertical, and then... 
No, like, I don't like oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. So that, that, that ruins the it. only yeah. exception is if I know they have dentures, I'm like, I'm not touching them. Dentures. So, like, you know, that's, that's like the only exception. If they're like 90 and have dentures, that's fine. But otherwise, I'm like, oh. what the fuck are you doing? That yeah. I'm, I'm. It ruins it. It changes the flavor. It does. It, it tastes. It, it tastes so different. Great. I don't know why. There's but some science. You get all those things stuck in your teeth. Like yeah. all those, like, points. Yeah. Like, mm. you gotta, like, immediately go, like, Gotta go oh, yeah. take care yeah. of that, but yeah. it's, part of the it. it's amazing how annoying something like that can be. Just a little yeah, piece, really. something between your teeth. It's like, God damn, this is. It's, I don't it's even like know if it's like that you're just self conscious or you're like, you know, did you there. ever get a piece of popcorn shell like yeah. wedged? Yeah, wedged yeah. down in there. Yeah, that oh. stuff. It seems like that would be torture. Like, uh, uh, you know, don't do anything brutal to anyone. Just just put a little piece of corn cob <laughs> between their teeth and, and be like, okay, <laughs> we'll take that out. We'll floss your teeth if you tell us what we want to know. And you're like, no, I'm not going to do it. You break like two minutes later. You're like, like oh, I hope the CIA is listening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, we don't need to floss your teeth. We don't need to waterboard people. We'll just, uh, just put some <laughs> between their teeth. Yeah. We'll, we'll corn cob them, huh? We'll, we'll corn Waterboarding? Cob. That flushes it out of their teeth. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's the deal with the corn on the cob? Now, all right, let's go back to how do you prep the corn on the cob? Like, are you guys lathering it in butter and salt okay. or one or the other? Or what okay. are you doing? Um, I like it just plain because I think the corn is sweet enough. No, no, that's wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's wrong. You're so fucking you, Yeah, like, that is weird. The butter is also adhesive then because for salt because then you want a little salt you want the sweet out of the corn and the salt to, to I, salty. So like, I put that's all the my taste. stuff on the same exactly. plate like no, we're not talking to you anymore you, you don't use the we're, things on we're the listening side. to mcnew <laughs> no we quit talking about sorry it. i'm interrupting i'm sorry no, no, so usually if i'm having corn in the cob we're having barbecued chicken right so like that sauce like gets on the plate so like i love a lot of butter and salt but like if you get like a little barbecue sauce on it like it's even yeah. better even better so like i would oh. like to have some extra barbecue sauce on my corn i like that too. that's a good tip my mom had yeah, those little plastic things that's shaped like the corn on the cob you drop it in there and then you can put your butter in there and it becomes like a little butter tub that you then roll it around because you got the things on that we we're talking about before and that's the ultimate way you put it you roll it around get the butter on there and then you salt it and then you're good then you're ready to go uh, that's salt how you is your just corn unnecessary corn. it is have not, you it, butter not butter is fine but no salt you need no, the salt. You have to have the salt. You have to have the salt, KK. Yeah, yeah. I love you salt. The salt. Well, I have high blood pressure, so. Well, well you could Because you like probably ate too much salt. salt. <laughs> yeah. You, you now she's judgmental. There's one of these people. She, yeah. Her whole life, she did nothing but dump salt on shit. And now she's paying for it. She's angry at us. <laughs> have you guys right. seen So that? angry. Yeah. Have you guys seen the meme that's like people are like, if you're not having corn like this, I don't want it. And they have like the corn cob, like it's a meme, it's like photoshopped, but they have like corn cobs on paint rollers with like the paint trays. They're like, don't come <laughs> over, I'm not eating corn like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like those people. So have you ever seen people try to eat their corn cob on a screw driver? Like a That's great. Like yeah. a drill? And then they you break mean? their face completely apart. <sighs> yeah. Because no. they put tea, a corn like, cob on a screwdriver but... and they turn it on, they try and eat it, and all it does is break their teeth off. Yeah. yeah. That is that's insane. It doesn't sound fun. Nor fun. It, it's no. funny though. No, well, maybe. Oh, maybe. it's stupid. It's no it's dumb. Well, it's yeah, like there's a lot dumb. of stupid stuff out there that's funny. No. It's just one of them. I, no. just, I just stress for people with their teeth because you could literally put a whole car in your mouth and people don't think of their teeth like that and they should they don't whole car price wise it, it yeah. could really put a car in your mouth like the price wise price i think of a car you could put in your teeth okay you put well, i was with you in your mouth i followed you well what type of car like a cadillac or you is could it like a, a gto you could put a yeah, a GTO. If you wanted you could put some money in your mouth and people don't get that oh you're talking about the money you can put yeah in your money yes. right <laughs> right 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 <laughs> oh, it's like the money you can put in your teeth. Uh, yeah, what I was saying is the money. So it's like a, it's like a Hyundai. It doesn't have to be a Cadillac, but you could still put twenty. A Hyundai's fine. It's a Hyundai's fine. <laughs> yeah. 
Huh. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Careful when you're eating corn on the cob. Careful. Is what it yeah, is. careful yeah. on the corn on the cob. Don't break, okay. don't break your teeth. Oh. I'm gonna so, sell you I, I saw I saw a warning on the internet. Uh, now uh, this is uh, the warning was for men, and uh, but it was uh, from a guy, and um, uh, but it was about women. So it's good that we have a split show here: two men and two women. So the warning was warning guys: uh, women notice your genes rotation, and at I got to be honest, if I was single, I think I would have two pairs of pants. I think I'd have a long pair of uh, jeans and a short uh, jean shorts, and that'd be it. That would get me through every day of my life. I, do women, do you, do you pay attention to uh, jean rotation of the guys you hang out with? No. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, exactly. Uh, Ryan, do you feel no. that? I did not know that was a thing, but it's interesting. I'm going to ask some of the ladies in my life and see what they see, think. See what they think. Do they notice your gene rotation? Are, are you rotating? You notice my gene? I just happen to I have it's more one of our assistant they... sellers right here, Melissa. Okay, Melissa. What got a question is, for you? Guys, genes rotations. Yes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. More so hats. Can we talk about how good there it is? Okay. Hats. Like, yeah. That, like, it's so know. personal then. Like spread it out and disgusting yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some of us sweat. Some of us Ryan sweat. always looks. I'm gonna say Ryan always looks great. His hats I, are always on point. I sign her paychecks. Keep that oh, in mind. Yeah, this, this is true. On this hat situation, <laughs> if they have a fish hook, I'm like okay. that motherfucker can fuck off. Like really, you don't oh, like the fish yeah. hook. I don't, I do like it. I do like it, and they're fucking toxic. That's the problem. So. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's some sort of toothpick, the toothpick yeah. that and a toothpick. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the fish hook and the toothpick, and then uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yes. So, so there, there you go. National corn co corn on the cob day, man. What a great day! I'll tell you what. This is uh, right up there. It's one of my favorite all time national corn on the cob days. I know what I'm eating. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey now, hey now. All right, on that note, we'll wrap this one up, as we always do, by talking about where people can find us. Kathy, you're first. Where can people you find You can me? find me on Instagram at KKCastStrength. I think I have a few followers. Oh, but you can always I'll use more. You can always I use need more. more. Oh, I've been uh, deleting uh, people I follow. I, I mean, I'm down to the bare minimum. I've, I've got, I got below 500. I had to make some hard cuts. There's some some hard cuts I had to make, and uh, but yeah, luckily you guys all made the cut. I still follow. Oh, them. thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can rest easy tonight. Rest, rest easy tonight. Right? No, you're okay. You're okay. If I get this thing down to below 400, though, you guys are all maybe in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I, I, as I, I don't pay any attention to this stuff, but as I'm going through this, I had to make the cuts, and I see Chili Man Chili follows me. I thought, I uh, Chili Man Chili, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> Chili Man Chili? I wish yeah. he followed me. Yeah. yeah. Chili Man so Chili, I, please I follow Chili Man Chili. That's what that on Instagram. Chili, I followed Chili Man Chili and, uh, uh, because they follow me, and uh, I'm, I'm going to keep following them, even though... Uh, I only have 497 people that I follow. Chili Man Chili is one of them because they followed me. No. Who Chili is Man that? Chili. Well, that's a canned chili. I don't know. I did, is it, why, why the hell they found me? I don't. Maybe because they know I like Skyline. They're hoping to convert me. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I, I've been a big proponent of Skyline. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it's really good chili. Skyline is the finest restaurant in America. It's not. In America. In America. Yes. I've yeah. lived in Cincinnati. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. Skyline chili is shit. It's just the it's best terrible. stuff ever. It's that is so bad. I can't believe the two people yeah, that drink Scotty. like you two do don't like Skyline chili. Oh my yeah. God. It's the worst shit. That's amazing. It's so it's, bad. It it's has the best no chili. flavor. It has so much flavor. It is it loaded has with flavor. No flavor. I, it's I loaded with flavor. It's no, just flavor. loaded with flavor. Like, I'm so much flavor. Loaded with the flavor. flavor. Of the I'm like, no, their it's food is flavor. Shitty. I'm not toilet toilet flavor. Loaded with flavor. Or it's delicious. Toilet flavor. Skyline chili, ten out of ten, a plus. Skyline chili. Uh, Ryan, how about you? That's false. That's false. <laughs> Since it is June eleventh, I will be in the corn aisle at the grocery store this afternoon, okay. buying up some corn for dinner tonight. And also across all socials at 10th MTN Whiskey and our website's 10thwhiskey.com. That's 10th whiskey with an E. Fair enough. Uh, McNew, how about you? 
I'm on Instagram at McNeil ABB. Ah, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akel on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Uh, you can find me at those places. I mean, Chili Man Chili did. Check us out <laughs> <laughs> on, on all the socials. Steve Akeley. Uh, I also have steveakeley.com. Uh, believe it or not, I was able to secure that. Uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, we have a company website as well. That's abvnetwork.com. Also, if you're in St. Louis, stop by and see me. I'm at the ABV Barrel Shop. I had some people come in today. Big fans of the show. They had me signing bottles, the whole thing. I felt like a celebrity. I felt like I was like McNew or something. It was cool. It was amazing. So come by and see me, ABV Barrel Shop, St. Louis, Missouri. Check us out online at abvbarrelshop.com. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? I would like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review. That includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the ABV Network. Great job today, gang. For audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody, and have a happy National Corn on the Cob Day. See ya! <laughs> Bye! Bye. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's Birthday Barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world. Way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. <laughs>